Hello Wealth Lab 8 users, Glitch here. If you were drawn to this video from the thumbnail, uh, know that is not Volker in the thumbnail. Uh, it's actually uh, Italian model Fabio. Uh, sure, we did used to call Volker Fabio. That was his nickname for a while because uh, of the long hair, but uh, no, that's not Volker. So what are we going to talk about? What's new in Wealth Hub 8 Build 29, a lot of genetic evolver enhancements. So let's get started. So first let's go to preferences. All of the Wealth Lab 8 preferences can be found in these tabs, including preferences for our genetic evolver, which lets you run randomized strategies generation after generation and slowly but surely evolve a hopefully profitable strategy. So we, first of all, fixed this issue here where if you had deselected several, several of these evolver genes, sometimes they would still sneak into the randomly generated strategies. That's no longer the case. Uh, secondly, we added this indicator exclusions section. By default, the indicators that we flag as lengthy in calculation are automatically excluded from the evolver. If for whatever reason you don't want to exclude them, you now have the option here. You can turn this off with this checkbox. Secondly, we provide a list of all of the available indicators in Wealth Lab. And if you want to exclude any of them explicitly from the Evolver, like I did here for the NN predictor, which is part of Neurolab, I don't want that randomly showing up in Evolver strategies. You can now exclude them using this feature. So some new preferences for the, the genetic Evolver. Let's see how they work in practice here. So let's open up a new genetic Evolver window. So in the Genetic Evolver, we're presented with a bunch of random strategies. Uh, the first five are presets that Wealth Lab 8 automatically throws in there in slots one through five. They're archetypical strategies. Uh, you'll notice that one of them, though, does use limit orders. So if you really don't want to use limit orders in your strategy, like uh, I deselected them all here, all of these genes that buy and sell using limit orders, I turned off. So if you want those limit stop orders to not show up in evolved strategies, you'll need to delete this strategy five. Just click it and press the delete key. Uh, if you go through all the other strategies, you will notice that none of them use limit entries. They're all market orders. So this is showing you that those exclusions are in fact taking place. So now I'll change my data set here. Let's uh, evolve using TQQQ and SQQQ uh, using all data. And there we go. Now I'm going to start the evolver. It's going to go through and run back tests on all of these randomly generated strategies. And that's considered one generation. Then when it's done with that run, it will proceed to the next generation. It's now processing generation two. It took the best strategies that were able to go through my filter here. I'm, I'm using a filter that I defined uh, you define these filters and actually the optimization uh, tabular result section. It's a little bit awkward right now. We need to eventually move that out of there. But this is where you define these filters. It is explained in the help. My low drawdown evolver filter is uh, filtering out any strategies that have a drawdown of 30% or greater. in addition to the standard Evolver filter, which uh, has a couple of other filter items in there. So here we are 
coming up on generation 10. Uh, another change in the Evolver is that it will do some streamlining of the strategy. So sometimes a strategy will get evolved that has identical conditions. The Evolver will now only allow one copy of each condition. Uh, so you'll no longer have completely duplicated conditions. Finally, notice the Evolver uh, strategy gene strings here, this BME0, SME. These are codes that represent the genes that the strategy is composed of. The Evolver will now have a maximum of only five strategies with identical gene codes. So it's another way to increase diversity in these evolved strategies. So let me click the stop button that's going to complete the generation, currently generation 20. So now we're stopped at generation 20. We have a strategy that generated a 13% annualized return on TQQQ and SQQQ. So it's buying at the open when the open is greater than the open of one bar ago and the RSI 2 is less than 35. How do you like that? A uh, entry when the RSI is oversold. And it's simply exiting the next bar whenever the open of the current bar is greater than the open of one bar ago. Interesting. So if I double click on that strategy, I can click run. Yeah, I have my 13% return. I have an equity curve. Looks like it was largely flat for this period. And it exploded uh, here in about, let's see, what is that? About 2020 right when the COVID decline started, this uh, strategy started taking off. I noticed that quite a bit with these triple leveraged funds. Uh, a lot of strategies started really taking off when that decline commenced. Interesting, it bears further investigation. But anyway, that's the changes, enhancements we made to the Evolver. And I just started up the Evolver again because I forgot to mention one other new feature that we added and actually it is the incentive for the thumbnail that drew you in here and uh, so it probably makes sense for me to describe that that is the introduction of sexual reproduction into the genetic evolver uh, what does that mean well the evolver will now look at the top two unique uh results in each generation and it will take the entries from the number one result and pair them mate them with the exits of the number two result and vice versa so we'll take the entries of the or the entries of the number two result and mate them with the entries of the number one result uh, resulting in two new children that basically mix and match the entries and exits. So this is uh, kind of the sexual reproduction that the Evolver is now doing that was suggested by Dr. Cope on our forum and implemented now in build 29. Uh, we do have one more item. If I open my accounts window, uh, we will notice that accounts now my here's my dummy broker and my dummy broker accounts you notice that uh, account one account two account three they have little nicknames now associated associated with them so if i click this box now i can enter a nickname for the account and those nicknames will show up everywhere including uh if i select the drop down here so the nicknames will appear pretty much everywhere where those accounts are referenced. So that's a wish list item we just introduced in Build 19. Uh, but that is it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for the support, and see you all on the forums.